More than a third of the nation's heavy air firefighting assets, eight of 19 available air tankers, are now on this fire. But efforts from the air and from as many as 300 firefighters on the ground have not stopped the destruction. Sue Schaffler was forced out of her home this morning. 20 years here, we've been here 20 years. Can you imagine? This place. But the fire was bearing down. Yeah, I can see the smoke. I don't see the flame. People who live in these mountains do it for the beauty and being close to nature. And they know that nature can turn violent and take everything. Tom and Veruska Trask had five minutes to flee. I think five or six propane tanks on the hill above us exploded in. It was like a war zone. Officials say it could be a couple of more days before residents are allowed back up these roads before they'll find out what they have left or what they have lost. Barry Peterson, CBS News, near Boulder, Colorado.